Hi everyone, um, sorry you can't see my face, it's just, I'm not filming from all the way on top of my dresser, I'm like at the bottom, so yeah, I just got a really better lighting instead of the last one, so yeah, but it is still me, it's still Charm, and then again, that's my nickname, so you know, but today I'm not trying to make anybody feel uncomfortable, but Today, I'm talking about puberty, and the subject of puberty in, well, subtopic is intro to bras. So, yeah, so first I'm just going to talk about, like, the different types of bras, and I am sort of not losing my voice, so, yeah. And I have to help her anyway, because my mom is literally right across the hall of her room, so I really don't want to hurt like, her up. So I am in a tough situation right now. So. Okay, so first off, um, this um, is a training bra. Now, sometimes you're going to start off with a super bra because most girls do, but some girls don't. But I first started off with a training bra just so my developing body wouldn't show. So, this is a training bra. This is the one that I kept. It does not fit me. These straps dig into my shoulder. This part of it also is so tight. The size is so tight. But the front, um, it doesn't cover enough. So, I don't wear this anymore. But it came in, pa it came in a pack of two with this other one. But, this, but that strap book, um, this strap book like a strap broke so I had to throw that one away. So I got a winners for six, two for six dollars which is amazing because normally bras are like twenty dollars. And the other type of training bra you could get is this type. It's still a training bra but it's just um more like it's like more like um it's more like um a powder bra. So so that's what it looks like and it comes with these latches I think that's what they're called latches so then you just pick one that you think is going to be right for you and just bam <laughs> just like bam so yeah so it still has no padding in it it's just a training bra And the next type is a sports bra. So this is what a sports bra looks like. It's similar to the first chain bra that I showed you. Um, because it doesn't shape to your cup size. Um, but it still gives you protection. Now this one is meant for when you're wearing sports. I mean when you're going to sports. So it does not matter what cup size you are. Um, when you, well, to find the right size, it matters what cup size you are, but when you're wearing it, it doesn't form to your cup size because it's sports, so it's just trying to cover you up, and I think I love my sports bra because they're, um, personally, one of the most comfortable ones I've ever worn, except for this part, because that is the tightest part of a sports bra. And I get super tight, and I don't really like that. Okay, so, um, the next type is an underwire padded bra. And this is what it looks like. And, um, this is one that I got from Winners as well. Oh, this one I got from Justice for $10. It was on sale for $10. About. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. Um... This is what it looks like, and it's super cute, and it has stripes on it. So, you can kind of see there, it has like silver stripes and light silver stripes on it. Like, it's super cute, and I love it so much. See, those are the light silver stripes, and those are the silver stripes right there. So, um, and basically, um, there's also stripes on here too. But basically, what an underwire bra is, um, is that there's this middle wire right here at the bottom of the cup size um 
So that's basically what an underwire bra is. So yeah. And these ones are I love underwire because um I I know this would give me the protection that I would need because of that, but sometimes the wire bugs me a little, so I wouldn't wear this every day. <sighs> the next type is a um, soft cup. And basically, what a soft cup is, it's a padded bra, of course, and it's in the shape of a cup, like based on your cup size. And I'm cup size B, so, um, yeah, and, um, as you can see, like, um, a lot of you might be thinking, why is it soft cup? Um, there's a wire underneath, but there's actually no wire. That's just, um, so it's gonna stay in place. See, no wire. The wire isn't this flexible. See, the wire is not that flexible, like, Oh my god, I can't even move it properly. That's not that flexible. So, yeah. And this has the latches as well. And so does the underwire. So it has a little latches and it has a latch so you can just clip it on. And, yeah. So. So. Yeah. So. That's it. Let's see. Okay, this looks really, really good. Okay. And this one, instead, the, you can get ones not like this, but this one has this connecting it, like this two strips connecting it, instead of that one piece of cloth. Mm. So yeah, um, basically the soft cup is basically um, when you're like, um, just to make it feel better and not like a wire purpose. It doesn't like there's no wire it's just a cup size and that's pie so yeah and this one is one of my favorites not the favorite because this part irritates me like that stitching part irritates my skin which is weird because i don't have sensitive skin so so this is the, basically the only bra that irritates me but yeah, but it's different for everybody. So yeah, and um, the two other types that I know of are push-up and um, strapless. I don't have either of those, so I can't show you. But basically, um, it looks like this. Um, like there's no straps for a uh, strapless. For strapless bra, there's no strapless, and it's made because, so if you're wearing a strapless dress, then, or a strapless top, you can wear a strapless bra, so your bra straps don't show. And a push-up bra, it just, um, is there for, um, girls, girls' breasts who don't, like, who sag a lot, so they push them up. So that's basically what a push-up bra is. So I don't, um, I don't have a strap bra. Um, I did have one, but then I threw that one away. Um, I should have kept it to show you guys, but yeah. Um, so yeah, those are all the types of bras that I know of. If you know other types of bras, please leave them in the comments below. So I'll make a part two video and I'll mention those ones. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions about bras or how to ask your mom for one or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below and I will get to that as soon as possible. See you next time on Girlies Here to Help on Wednesday. Bye!